Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Okay, got a couple of topics today that we like to discuss. First, like to get into something we've covered very briefly recently and kind of employed a little bit, but just like to go a little bit below the surface on it, and that is the concept and practice of the fingernails as a way of, of generating wood chi, that is the chi of, of the of springtime. And it's wood chi is a is an expansive chi. It's going from the yin of winter to the yang of summer. And so we're oh, we're kind of things start very slowly in spring and then they kind of expand upward and upward, upward and and it's directional. So wood chi is, is a very directional kind of energy. And as all these energies, they're just kind of ways of talking about something that you can experience. And so we can share this language. So wood is a is a language that is used in, in Taiji and, and in Chinese medicine to, you know, it's one of the five elements and it express a way of way things that relate to each other. So in the the emphasis on on wood is the um, it's liver and uh, and gallbladder and that's the your organs associated with it and there's sort of a a quality of excitement you know that uh, can even be considered anger so but uh, when tempered with the heart energy it becomes like a happy anger and that is it's it's a it's a drive it's like the the thrust of uh, the daffodils that are pushing up in the springtime they they really had this they're driven to push up through the snow to get to get started in in, in February and um, that's that that energy it's, it you need the liver energy to get things started so otherwise things remain in that dormant state that is characterized by the water element in the winter it's kind of a everything stays uh, very um, subdued and so this gets it moving again so the um, but the other quality of the the fingernails is that they are for they um, activate the connective tissue system and you know one of the things that i've been teaching for years as a way of activating the connective tissue system is to point with your index fingers and feel that and this kind of takes it up another notch so the whenever you are using your uh, your your fingernails you want to imagine like you have like claws like cat's claws at the end where your fingernails are and then you you're kind of grabbing with the claws and notice that whenever you do that that that, that you immediately get this tingling activation in your in your fingers it, it, it can even be feel a little itchy sometimes it gets like the the energy gets really excited and so that sends a signal throughout the whole connective tissue system your living matrix and reminds you of your wholeness your coherence so as soon as you just grab that boom you grab those fingernails and it you know it, it activates something it it sends a spark through the system. Um, in fact, I just used it today with a with a client who was having some problems with uh, with grief. Had a, a someone who had died recently, and plus a, a certain amount of depression that uh, associated also with with the winter and and stuff like that. And so, just by creating that little effect, just ask her to do that, and and immediately, you know, she. She snapped out of it and, and, and this big smile came across her face like, wow, and was able to shed, you know, she'd been crying just a minute before. And now she's like, she's, she's actually quite, quite happy because this, this light was coming into, into her body mind. It was reactivating the connective tissue system, which connects every cell in your body. So there's this excitement that comes with that, that creates a, a vitality. And so having that just as a, as a, a practice, you know, you, you do just, you know, 
hundred times a day. You just kind of, you know, you have these these claws and you go snicked with your uh, your fingernails and and suddenly like you're you you can feel it throughout the whole system. And so when you do that, that once you've established that coherence, everything gets better because you uh, reestablishing your wholeness then takes you out of your thinking mind and puts you into a super conscious state. You're then able to activate a body, mind, spirit integration, which then takes you to a whole different place in your, in your state of being. So we're going to play with that a little bit in the, in the other thing we're going to do today. And that is we're going to look at uh, diagonal flying as a, it's a posture in the Tai Chi form. I, it, even if you haven't done Tai Chi, it's something that'll be very simple for you to, to grasp, at least the way I'll be teaching it today, because we're primarily interested in this energy. And let me just sh show you briefly what it, what it looks like as a, as a movement. And the movement is, is very much like this. It's like you, you're opening like that, okay? So you're, so what's happening is you're pulling in opposite directions. You're reaching and pulling in opposite directions. And there's this quality of splitting energy, which is one of the, split is one of the eight primary energies of Taiji Chuan. And so the idea is you're pulling apart. And we've covered this fairly recently, but we're going to take it a little deeper in this, in this and, and do our, uh, our uh, uh, as we explore the, that splitting energy and explore the, the uh, diagonal flying posture. Because we also want to include something we've also covered recently, which is that sequential activation of joints. That is, if we initiate from the shoulders, we immediately have run into two, two big problems. One, one is, is mechanical. That is, you're, you're, if you're reaching out like this and you're activating like that, it is, um, you kink the, you, uh, you're, you're having this nice long lever. Your arm is a nice long lever. If you're, Make, reaching a, a resistance out here, and the fulcrum point is back here. So it takes a lot of muscle power to, to, to do it with strictly local muscles. And most of us just don't have that in our shoulders. So it's not a very, if you're trying to do this as a muscular thing, uh, it's not generally very effective. So, what we do is we do it as an expression of jin, of this splitting energy, and we begin by initiating distally, that is from the, from the end point, and we then are, um, we are able to activate the connective tissue, the tensegrity of the connective tissue system throughout the whole, throughout the whole body, and instead of it being locally produced by the shoulder, it's produced by the activation of the entire connective tissue system of the body mind. And everybody works together and, and you get this, you then are able to allow the energy to move through the system and you have jin, you have this expression of energy through the body. So um, the way we're gonna approach it is to Take a look at, at, at its mechanics and, and break that down so you can actually see the, the component parts. And we're gonna walk through it as a meditation. That is, we're gonna actually feel into each part, each of the component parts as we're doing it and get into that as a, um, you know, as, as its own expression of, of, uh, of the energy. So, um, um, First, I'd like to uh, maybe, Maria, you want to give me a hand with this? And just 
just a quick demonstration of, of what I'm talking about, particularly for those who have not uh, who have not been uh, exposed to this stuff before. But the uh, so um, if uh, when we go over here, so if I'm doing this posture here, right, and if I'm trying to do activate by with my muscles, and Maria provides a resistance here as I'm doing this, I'm going like this and. I'm much stronger than she is, but it doesn't matter. That I'm just, I can't, I can push as hard as I can. And I'm, all I do, all I'll do is hurt my shoulder by, by expressing the energy that, by expressing the, uh, the Lee, the, the muscular force, it just doesn't work. So what I want to do is activate my chin and, and we'll, we'll, we'll explore that. And so the idea here is, I want to feel that connection so that it becomes quite irresistible whenever the, you make all those points together, you, you link, link it all up. So it's a, if, we, if, we, if Maria's doing the same thing here, she's, she tries to, tries to push me with her, her arm strength, she's initiating from the shoulder, it's not going to work. But if she initiates from the fingers, the wrist, the elbow and and connects that up throughout through her feet and into the earth then it feels like this torrent of energy that just shooting out and and lifting me up and tossing me back so he, he get and if she, you just do it very very slowly and deliberately and and so as soon as she, as soon as she activates that i'm i'm already in my heels i'm gone so i'm being uprooted by this upward swell of energy. So we're going to play with that and, and see how to do that. So thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so uh, before we get into the doing on this, uh, is there any, are there any questions or comments? Scott? Um, can you talk a little bit about the um, directionality of what energy, because if I remember you saying it's not like a, just a laser focused energy. Uh, that's a great point, great point. So there is, there is uh, a, there's a vector involved. That is, there's a direction and there is a, there is an energy that's moving and you have to be conscious of that direction. So as I'm reaching out here, and and extending the the direction of it is, is simultaneously out i'm reaching out and i'm also reaching back so the there is this spiral that that goes this way and that way and we get as with vectors we get a resultant which is you know the the, the two of them together produce a, a third motion and that creates the effect that I want to create. So the, uh, so what's happening is the extension out is, is creating the, the, um, the channel that the energy is coming. It's, it, it creates the substantial, uh, channel for the where the energy is going the the intention for the direction of the energy going up and back is then uh, then uh, is what I'm doing with that channel so it's it allows me to to direct it you think of uh, I think of a rifle you know you have you have the barrel of the rifle and that provides the channel for that and then you have uh, you direct something through that you direct a projectile through that barrel and that's that's where the energy goes so where you're able to 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 move that so you're looking for and you're feeling into the uh with your arm you're feeling into what the resistance and sensing through that and then you can can direct the energy wherever you want it to go but there's a, it's those two poles there. One is the, um, uh, actually, no, those aren't poles. Uh, there's two different ve uh, vectors there. One is one is going out and the other one's going back. Let me show you a way to train this 
when you don't have a partner, ideally you, you got a partner, but if we get, if we go back here and you go to, back to a wall, okay, and I'm going, and you want to feel into this and feel, so you're, uh, you want to feel into where you're resisting. So if I, you just try it as a muscular thing, you're pushing against it, and you can feel the tension in your shoulders as you do that. If you're trying to do that, and you can feel, you know, how that, you can feel the limits of that particular action. So then the other way is to, if I'm going to reach out that way, which creates that channel there, creates that extension, and then direct it toward the wall, toward and maybe up a little bit. So I get this kind of spiraling upward as I'm reaching out and at the same time, I'm uh, going that way. So going that way and that way simultaneously, then I create the, uh, the channel which the energy can move through and then I can direct that wherever I want. So that's a way to practice it is just to find yourself something that has a tree or a lamppost or whatever you, you want to feel that something there and you can gently explore where you are kinking the hose. Now we're going to do a sequential activation of joints with this so then that you'll be able to, to, to notice where you are out of sequence in your, in your expression. So um, hope that uh, that helps, Scott. No, it didn't. What do you, what, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, I was specifically asking about, um, you know, like fire energy is kind of a all the out and up, and wood you say is more directed, but is it directed? It's not just directed to, you know, it's. Is it just directed to one spot or is it? Ah, okay. So I, 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 I've confused two things here. <laughs> one, one, is, one is this and the other is, is something different, which is the, the diagonal flying. So uh, diagonal flying is a combination of energies. So what we're doing with the, uh, with the, the, with the fingernails is creating, uh, we're creating that, that wood, which is a type of energy, which then, allows that expansion. So this, you can see this is an expansion, an expansive kind of posture. And so you're getting that. So then what do we do with that? That's now we're adding in other layers onto that. So it's not, not a simple one-to-one uh, uh, -one correspondence there with that. Does that make sense? Lynn's gonna help me out here. <laughs> no, she's gonna, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's gonna ask another question, but maybe it'll, help um, maybe maybe it'll help you said that fingernails were creating wood energy yeah are we create wood energy because that's what the fingernails do or are we creating wood energy because this is the season of wood uh because you're you can do it any season you want so it's linked to the fingernails not to the that's wood. right okay. that's right right okay. so you know yeah all, all the elements are, are available in all the seasons it just right. the, the different ones kind of govern that particular season, and uh, and so uh, it may have actually been TMI in terms of what we're talking about here. But it uh, you know the uh, but what we're saying is that the you're you're creating this expansive um, energizing power within your within your body mind. And that's, that's, you know, wood is, is one way of expressing it. But I'd say, you know, even if we don't go there, for those, particularly for those who are not familiar with the Chinese elements, you know, the, just, just to feel it, just feel what, what, that, what that's doing. So what, when we initiate from the fingernails, then we are immediately connecting the dots. When we initiate from the shoulders, the, thing, the hands are, are, are dead. So this is a way of, of, of initiating distally, uh, you know, with the endpoint connecting, creating the channel before we try to send the energy through it. So uh, back to the, uh, your, your question, Scott, the, uh, so, 
So the we're creating poles in opposition, which is generating chi, right? Expansion and uh, and it gets into it gets into much bigger with that as well. But the uh, uh, don't worry about that in terms of wood, because it's all we're talking about just expansive energy. In that case, does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, so, um, dude. So I was just wondering if um, you know from what Peter was saying earlier, different things in terms of substantial and insubstantial. The actual movement you're making is creating a substantial pathway for the insubstantial to flow through. That's that's excellent. Yes. So so yeah. So the the substantiality of the channel, you know, and the insubstantiality of the energy flow, and so you you have those those two uh, complementary qualities. And there's always a vector to when you're making any kind of a movement mm -hmm. there's always a vector but there can also be an intention of the destination of the energy through that vector <laughs> if that sure. makes any sense it does sure okay so let's uh let's play with it maybe uh maybe getting out of the the, the word salad will help uh to clarify some of the uh, some of these these ideas here So let's begin with with uh, the three pillars. Uh, feel the balls of your feet. Set the knees. You're feeling your foundation over the balls of the feet. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. So you're leveling out your pelvic bowl. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate. You feel that energetic connection there. Relax your lower back, you're dropping the sacrum. Feel yourself sinking into the earth and simultaneously reaching up with the crown of the head. Reach with your elbows. Slightly rounded arms. And push away from the earth with your legs and then spiral down and turn and release the, the qua. So you're getting some qua. Now feel your fingernails, grab with, your, with those claws and just feel the energy that, that is activated by connecting up that living matrix, your connective tissue system. You're taking it to another level of, of energetic coherence. Feel your fingernails, and bend your wrists, and reach with your wrists. You're extending, opening, and as your wrists come up, you're bending at the elbow a little bit, very relaxed. And notice that your shoulders are sort of passengers on the train right now. You reach out with your finger with your fingers and 
reach out, open up your back between your shoulder blades. And so you're extending outward. And feel that connection. Grab with those fingernails again and just feel, feel that the effect that's having throughout your whole body mind. Feel it plugging into something much bigger. Bring your left hand down, turn it palm up. So we're gonna do the stationary to begin with. And so begin by feeling your fingernails of your left hand, actually on both your hands, feel those, reach with both elbows. And the wrist, so you're feeling that, that wrist connection there, the wrist of your left hand, and reach with your left elbow. Feel that, and just pause there and just feel that energetic connection. So we've initiated the process, so we're going to move to the left with the left arm, but at the same time, we're going to pull with the right arm. We're going to reach back with the right elbow and feel those, those poles in opposition. You're kind of, you're pulling taffy here. You're stretching the rubber band. So as you're reaching with that, el both your elbows, both your wrists, feel that and just pause. And feel that, that energetic connection there. Now rotate your left forearm, turning the palm up. And reach with the fingers, open. Reach with your right hand, reach with the fingers, your right hand, open. Feel the expansion, feel the connection between your two hands. Feel them pulsing together. Feel the shoulder joints opening up. You can feel your fingers and left hand starts to come down. Right hand comes across, reaching with the fingers. So your fingers are leading the parade here. Bring your hands back to your center line. So that the palm of my left hand is pointing down, the palm of my right hand pointing up. The palms are cocking to each other, reaching out with the elbows. And now I'm going to reach out with the elbows. And then bend the wrists. So feel. Just feel the change that happens whenever you bend those wrists slightly. Your arms relax, your hands relax. And now you start to open, reaching with the wrists. Pause and just feel them pulling apart. Feel those pulls in opposition. So we're generating a chi flow within the, the system that is your body mind. So within the wholeness that is you, there is this energy flow. But you're also, because you're in your three pillars, you're, you're, you're tapping into the big chi, you're tapping into the chi of the earth and the chi of the heavens. Chi of the earth through your feet, the chi of the heavens through the crown of your head. And so you're tapping into the big chi and that's feeding into 
the system. So then continue reaching with the fingers, opening the shoulders. Feel that splitting energy. The left hand is pulling to the left, the right hand pulling to the right. Simultaneously pulling against each other, but also, also reaching outward. So it's not just a pull, it's also an extension. Bend your, so initiate from the hands, your, bend your elbows, relax your wrists, bend the wrists, come back to center. If they're not going to pivot on your right heel, turn that to like a 45 and feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the right claw now. You're sinking into the right leg. And feeling the, your central equilibrium and you're right on the right side there. You're, have about 90% of your weight in your right leg. And now pick up your heel, you want about even more. Because now you're gonna step out with your left foot at an angle. And feel that extension that actually creates an expansive energy as well. So you're still holding these poles in opposition between your hands, your elbows are reaching outward. And, and you're feeling that opening at the shoulders. So there's a an expansiveness there. You feel the ball of the left foot and you push the left knee out and set that and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left claw, sinking into that. And feel the potentiality that's being generated within your body mind. Reach with the elbows, bend the wrists, and start to separate. And as you do that, your body turns to the left as you do that, as you're pulling apart. And just pause and feel that halfway there. You feel that those poles in opposition. Check in, relax your shoulders, relax your wrists, reach with your elbows. Sung Kwa, you're sinking in that left leg and turning and continue to turn, open, 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 expansion. Feel your connection with the earth through your feet. Reach with the crown of your head. So we're creating this connection, this big connection. And the more we can actually feel into the sensations in the body, it opens the door to feeling beyond that. We start to tap into the feelings of the chi, the energy that is animating all this. Because there's something there much more, much bigger than just the body. And that's, we're exploring that. So now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the left. And as you do that, the right hand comes in, the left hand comes in, you sink into the left leg. The left claw you're setting up there, relaxing. But feeling that those poles in opposition. And step in with the right foot. Then I'll feel it, that neutral place here where you're just on one leg, you're on the toe of your right foot. And feel the 
energies is being generated within the system, but it has a different flavor in this yin posture than it did in the yang posture of the expansion. Just take note of it, because the more we can kind of discern between the flavors of the energy, the more we can interpret them. We then, you know, we develop a vocabulary to describe these different flavors. So now step out with your right foot, place that on a 45. Feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee out, set that and spiral down, release down into the quad. So you're turning down to the left, you're spiraling down to the left and sinking into the right leg. And just pause and just feel into that. So here we have a yin posture where we're gathering, we're mobilizing the chi. And feel that, the quality of that yin. Now reach with the elbows. Actually feel your fingernails. So good to recheck in on that. So you're, you're establishing your connection at the, at the distal points. Reach with the elbows. You're opening the shoulder joints. Bend the wrists. And really feel relaxing the hands, relaxing the, the arms. And as you open, you turn, body turn to the right, pulling, and then pause and feel into those poles in opposition there. Just feel the connection. Your shoulders are very relaxed. You're reaching with the elbows and you're letting the energy do this for you. It's the energy is creating the power in this and your body is just the delivery system for the energy. Because both the body and, they, and the energy are being driven by your mind intent, your E. You are directing the traffic here. And by being able to stop, pause at any point along the way and hold that and learn to tolerate that potentiality, that energy potentiality, then permits you to be able to express it without as much uh, deliberation and, uh, and you're able to do it quite, quite effectively and, and quickly. So continue to turn and pulling and reaching simultaneously with the hands and separating, opening the joints, feeling that expansiveness. Feel the yang chi now. So feel, contrast that to the, that sense we have of, of the yin the gathering part. We're here where this is the expression. And by opening the shoulders, we have this tensegrity that extends from fingertips to fingertips, from fingertips to, to toenails. You know, feel your fingernails, feel your toenails in this posture and feel the, the electricity that gets generated by that expansiveness, by that, by your connective tissue system. And feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. You're loading up the right claw and sinking into the right claw, the left hand comes down right hand and step in with the right, the left foot and feel the, we're back to the yin posture now. Now we're gonna take this and I'm gonna step back a little bit. There we go. And uh, 
We're going to take this and we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to use that same quality of energy, but we're going to do the motions are going to be a little smaller. So we're going to feel the ball of the right foot set the right knee spiral down to the right. You're sinking into your central equilibrium. And then step out with the left foot. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. And loading up. Feel the yin of this, of the mobilization. You're gathering. Charging up the battery so that now feel the elbows and the wrists. Feel the fingers. Feel the fingernails. And then turn. Much smaller this time. We're feeling the same poles in opposition there. You're feeling, feeling those stretching the rubber band, pulling back the bowstring. So notice we have, we're much smaller, but we're still within that, within this, this small expression, we have a large amount of, of energy circulating around. Feel through your feet and into the earth. Feel through the crown of your head and into the, into the heavens. And allow that young expansion to extend beyond your body mind. And feel the connection with something greater. Find any tense parts of your body and just let them go, let them relax. And feel the energy circulate even better when you do that. Then there comes a point where the energy kind of, kind of it seems like it disappears because you've moved to a, a higher refinement of the energy. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Reach with the elbows, wrists, bend the wrists, feel the fingernails. Step in. And feel the yin. Bring it all inside. Mobilize that. Step out with the right foot. Smaller step. Feel the ball. Set the knee. Spiral down to the left. Feel those fingernails. Feel the elbows. Feel the wrists. Turn. And as you do that, you're pulling even smaller. Feel that expression, feel the, the vector of the energy going outward. At the same time, they're pulling inward. So we have these complementary energies that are creating even more energy. Step back, bring your hands down, press down. And just feel into the energy potentials that you have generated in your body mind and allow that to circulate and find its own homeostasis, its own balance point within.
Come on down to the left and step in the left foot. Take a deep breath, open, gathered, and then disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Let it go. Pause for a moment, just feel into the stillness. Please have a seat. <laughs> how'd that go rick <laughs> well for years now i've been tapping into the big chi with just two fingers today i tapped in with 10 <laughs> And my reservoirs of chi went crazy. <laughs> they were going, wow. It was just after years of, you know, a nice little easy wave. Suddenly, here comes the tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they adjusted very well, I have to say. Terrific. Terrific. <laughs> well adjusted fingers. That's, I like that. <laughs> They've been prepared for this. They've been waiting for this, apparently. <laughs> Great. Jonathan. Yeah, I, you know, seconding that there's there was something you did or something you said, maybe at some point with the wrist, where the independence of the hands from the shoulder, like sometimes the hands feel like they're soldiers doing what the sh shoulder wants them to do. Like we're serving the shoulder here. And there was a kind of a when the hands have that much energy in them, they're their own system almost. And it can almost seem like they're floating out there, but they can't be because they're part of a system. Obviously, they, they wouldn't be tingling like this if they were severed. It's like, so it's, it was like a, a new way of connecting to the whole system. I don't know what you said exactly. Something with the wrist, maybe. <laughs> but it, it's more it's just a feeling of it. Whenever you get that much energy flowing through the system, yeah. and small changes, yeah, big, yeah, effects, yeah. big effects. I That's don't it, think it's yeah. what you said, Rick. I think it's what you did, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, I did what he said. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, that's your fault then. Your fault. <laughs> your responsibility. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, and you're welcome. <laughs> uh, Lynn. Like everybody else, I was very filled, amazingly filled. And at the end, I was like, I'm not going to be able to stop. <laughs> I'm just so full. I'm not going to be able to stop. And you said equalize, you know, bring the energy in and equalize it. And I was like, for there was half a, an infinitesimal, infinitesimal moment of like sort of confusion. And then it just all rushed to my heart. Mm. And wow. it all was like, oh, oh, oh. I, it's, woo, I've never felt anything. That was amazing. That was wow. amazing. That's, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Perfect. Let it flow. Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I did not realize that that was, now I can, I can go back and what Lynn was saying about the heart because the tears were there. It was just mm. so, yeah. Um, I've never felt that much potentiality. You know, what are the possibilities as I have with this particular exercise? Maybe I'm just ready, whatever, but wherever it brought me to, wherever I went, the potentiality was like mind boggling. Um, yeah, and, and the wrist thing, 
the relaxing of the wrist, because I thought they were relaxed, but each time you said it, it was like, no, they're not. And it was just a little tiny adjustment. And that made a huge difference on, you know, what, what was leading what it, it just, wow. Holy, holy S. <laughs> just wow. Really. So I'm glad I brought up the nails. Um, mm -hmm. Excellent exercise, pulls in opposition. Um, yes, deeper level. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. The, the opposite of S. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Yeah, well, thank you. You know, uh, at my level, there are a lot of moving parts to try to hold together at the same time. Um, I didn't have such a spectacular, um, you know, flow of energy, but I felt, you know, something. And, uh, and I'm amazed how just like, just sort of with your intention you, and to the nails, how that generates, you know, what you say, it generates energy that feels like it's, I felt it activating sort of through my shoulders and chest and down. Um, but um, it, yeah, I felt similar to, to Valerie, uh, a lot of promise just working with this one practice, the fingernails and, the and holding and the sequential joints, diagonal flying for holding poles in opposition. I think I'm gonna work with this a lot as a training. And I have one question. You know, toward the end, when we were doing the, um, the young phase, you know, uh, separating, I felt the impulse to do something you taught quite a while ago, which was simultaneously pushing from the back foot and pulling from the front foot, if I have that right. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to generate an interest to add an interesting energy dimension. I'm wondering if that's a good thing to do and if that's also sort of a poles in opposition kind of thing, pushing from the back foot. It definitely is. Most definitely is. That, that, uh, that, 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 that's, uh, I'm impressed that, you know, you, you got creative there. That's, that's uh, beautiful. Cool. Yeah, so thank you. That was, I mean, yeah, this, yeah, this feels like a, you know, a big thing to work with for a long time. And it's something that, you know, we're just putting the pieces together. You know, we, we tear it apart and say this thing and that thing and, and we're identifying the different components so that we can put it together and in reconfiguring it, it's much bigger than in, its, in the fusion state that of unknowingness. You know, the fact that we split it apart then now they're entering consciousness into the mix. And then when we unify it again, it all those parts are buzzing. Whereas before they're just kind of, you know, in a mysterious unknowingness. And, and now it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, they're alive. Yeah, Scott. I um, well didn't assimilate. I don't know when this is going to slow down enough to assimilate and just things are just bouncing around everywhere in there. I feel like Rick Myers is usually talking about everything is just bouncing. But my, I was at, we, were bare, we were barely moving and my shoulder just popped and released. Wow. It's wild. I usually don't do that unless I'm, you know, something doing something vigorous. But yeah, it just, I was barely moving and it just popped and released. It was, that was kind of cool. It was what I think what you were saying that what Jonathan was talking about was when you were talking about the energy moving, the energy moving the body more than, you know, more than the body moving more than the, you know, the, your physical movements, the energy moving the body, which I've been working on that. And the things that you were working with, with that, talking about with that were really very helpful. Good, good, good. Valerie. <laughs> And you know we have toenails. <laughs> I thought only women have toenails. 
So you brick. I, I did you, give the toenails a shot out at the end there. You did. You, you did. Oh, just, oh, I missed it. I missed it. Yes. I, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> These are a little little closer to home than 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 the toes. The toes are way down south there. They're down there in Paraguay. So uh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're closer. <laughs> Jonathan. This city, you know, this polls in opposition with the diagonal flying is almost one of the best ones I think we have for doing while you're sitting, doing while you're watching TV, doing and not doing it. Like feel like you're about to do it, but don't move. Beautiful. There's so much in that diagonal, even if you don't move, right? So I, right. I, I've been doing it, you know, since we sat down. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Why stop? <laughs> that's, that's a great, great idea. Great idea. Why stop? Yeah. And yeah. If you can you know, initiating with the fingernails <laughs> is such is such a game changer. Mm. You know, it 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 amplifies. Like Rick said, you got ten of them. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you got, and you know, you don't stop breathing because you know that feels good when you breathe. So yeah. why stop anything that makes you feel good? <laughs> Peter. I also really enjoyed, you know, the way you topped it off and sort of came full circle at the end when you suggested uh, using the experience of the practice to, to feel out beyond the body mind to something bigger, maybe the cosmic Taiji. And then at the end, we dissolved it maybe going back to the Wuji. Um, exactly. That was really, I mean, that was tantalizing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, those are words that can get really get lost in philosophical uh, significance and, and uh, you know, to, to actually feel it gives you yeah. a, different, a different approach. And so then you know, there's, uh, you know, uh, a sense of that, you know, it's it's a it's a faint echo of of what what is possible, but right. it's it's still something that that we can say oh oh yeah okay that's that's where we're going with this okay that's it, touches, it touches a really interesting you know phenomena that you have mentioned and you point to that your sort of ye kind of mental energetic intent sort of it it connects it sort of makes something real it's like we're magicians in a sense but um exactly. you know and and it's you know it's sort of it's you know some traditions talk about the imaginal you're using your mind to uh sort of think out to connect to something and then it's kind of like you imagine it but it's also actually there it's um, it's wild. Yeah, that that uh, that. Now we're getting someplace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You know, I had a I had a calcium score test. It's an MRI test today for coronary artery calcium measurement. Very lovely young woman was the technician. I think kind of flirting with me, and. Uh, she, you know, as a, I, what, anyway, as, as she was about to put me into the tube, she asked me if there's anything else I needed. I said, do you, can, is there a little magic spell you could do to make the results come out well? Kind of like, um, like in <laughs> Harry Potter, a, a spell. And uh, it made her laugh, but, but maybe that's possible. I, maybe I should have tried that myself to just like. It works <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you all so much. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you, Maria. Thank, thank you, Maria. Maria. Bye, Bye, everybody. Yeah.